When is it safe for patients to drive after a common orthopedic surgery? Patients are really wanting to know when can I drive after rotator cuff repair. Historically, we've given patients restrictions after surgery. No driving for six weeks. Those are based on what we feel are older guidelines based on older ways of uh, practicing medicine, really. And does it make sense to use the same recommendations from years ago when surgical procedures now offer a less invasive experience for patients? It was a question that he posed and we didn't really have an answer, but we said we, we can figure out how to get you an answer. As the Data Engineering Director at Virginia Tech's Transportation Institute, Dr. Perez specializes in collecting and analyzing data related to driving safety. To answer that question, we need to get patients into an actual vehicle rather than a simulator. The team went to work designing a study and customizing this car with cameras in critical places, computers, and a back seat that allows the scientists to take over driving if needed. It's really decked out with all the bells and whistles. I follow his instructions, whether it be turn right, turn left, operate the visor, and what he's doing over the course of these sessions uh, is to determine how I'm doing. Reed McClure is healing from shoulder surgery and one of dozens of patients participating in this unique driving research. We looked at data two weeks before people had the surgery and then two, four, six, and 12 weeks after they had the surgery. Knowing that we are actually answering a question that patients are literally asking is such a wonderful thing to be doing. I hope it accomplishes some objectives to reduce the amount of restricted driving time. So what did a year of driving and data collection show? The answer is, Patients can return to driving a lot sooner than we thought they could. Yes, there are some impairments that these folks are experiencing, temporary impairments, but they were able to compensate for, for those in their driving. That they're smart, that they're adaptive, and that they make modifications to their techniques to make them safe. To the point that there were no notice, noticeable differences in, in their driving before and after the surgery. And we found all of that in our research study. I've been really excited about uh, being involved in this study, which has followed me along my rehabilitation path. It really is about improving their quality of life after the surgery. A research collaboration that creates future opportunities for gathering science-based knowledge to benefit patients.